Once we're happy with our simulation, we can finalize it by baking it to keyframes. This is necessary for several reasons. For one thing, if you don't bake your simulation, then when you render, you may get different results. In fact, you may get poor results. Also, your rendering will take longer because Maya will have to calculate the simulation over again on each frame. Finally, baking the simulation gives us the ability to scrub in the timeline. Currently, we can't really scrub very well in a timeline. It may not work at all or give us crazy results. To bake the simulation, set up your timeline with the number of frames that you want. Select the animated objects only. We don't need to create keyframes for objects that aren't moving. All I need to select are the shards. Then I'll go to Edit, Keys, Bake Simulation. And Maya calculates the rigid body simulation. Once it's finished, you will see that there are keyframes on every single frame. At this point, you should save to a new file name. And it's a good idea to put the word bake in that file name. If I rewind and play back, you'll notice that it still slows down when it hits that impact point. And that's because although we've converted all of this motion to keyframes, the rigid bodies are still in the scene and they're still being calculated. Once I've baked the simulation, I can delete all the rigid bodies. Edit, delete all by type, rigid bodies. Also, I can delete all these unnecessary channels, for example, scale and visibility, are all keyed on every frame. I can delete that information by going to edit, Delete all by type. Static channels. Now I can scrub through the timeline. We're almost ready. Now we'll edit the visibility of the original object and the shards. On frame one, I'll select the cube and turn its visibility on. Right click visibility, key selected. On frame one, I'll select the group node for the shatter objects, set that group's visibility to zero or off, and right click, key selected. The point of impact is on frame 12. On frame 13, I'll set the group node's visibility on, and then right click and key selected. And the original cube. I'll set the visibility off and key selected. Rewind and play back to see the results. That's pretty convincing. Save the scene to a new file and create a new Playblast. Window Playblast options. And here's what we have so far. That's a quick run through of the workflow. Next, we can take a look at it with a more complex model.